Ah, uh, here we go again. This is the second video. I've already produced uh, a first one. Uh, for those who are seeing me for the first time, my name is Ayosam Semgoma. I'm based in Uganda. I'm a pine tree grower. I grow mostly pine. Yeah, in the previous videos, I've, I've talked about uh, eucalyptus and uses of trees and uh, yeah, and 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 uh, all types of things. People ask me all types of questions about tree growing. These videos are, 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 are I'm producing are based on questions people keep on asking me. Yeah, and like I said, when I'm producing these videos, I'm talking of very ideal situations, so it's very hard to apply all these things I'm saying in in, in one's project. But I'm talking of ideal situations and. Uh, you can always contact me. I'll try to leave my my contacts, my contacts and email address in in the descriptions of this, of these videos. Yes, uh, this is the second video, and and people usually ask me about maintenance. By like like by by the way, we I plant and maintain people's projects. Yeah, uh, I we do that business. I I plant I plant for you. We maintain projects, and uh, for as long as you uh. uh you can you can manage you understand but which, uh, and uh, that maintenance we can always uh, uh, sit together and and iron out the different things it's very hard to explain everything on a video on a on a on a, on a youtube video but uh, people ask me uh, about maintenance costs and maintaining pine these videos are like i said are about pine mostly because uh, most most videos out there are about eucalyptus now this, me i'm mostly in pine and we are talking about pine mostly maintenance and uh, yeah people ask me about maintenance and maintenance costs and things like that pine takes in uganda takes about 15 18 25 years to grow depending on the area depending on the, the weather and depending on so many things yeah which are very hard to squeeze into one one small video like I said, I'm talking about ideal situations. We are talking about ideal situations and, uh, yeah, uh, very ideal situations. So it's very hard to apply them to everyone's situation. Yes. Uh, it has been, uh, it, pine grows fastest if it's planted in deep soils. Deep soils usually in Uganda, if you go on top of a hill, those soils are usually not very deep. Uh, uh, they, have a, a, they are rocky in some areas. Uh, uh, most areas have been too. When you go on top of a hill, that the soil is not very deep. There's, there are rocks and things like that. But if you go in the valleys, that's why you find forests and things like because that because that soils are deep. Now, if you grow trees, pine trees in a, in deep soils, those trees usually grow faster and they bring better returns faster. You understand? They grow bigger and faster. They grow bigger and they grow faster than trees grown on top of a hill so the higher you go the slower they grow and uh, the later the returns you get from your forest yeah uh for maintenance we, we uh they all people always ask me about how much it costs to maintain uh my answer is it depends on uh, on the distance for example if you are based in kampala this video is is, is made in uganda and there are small towns like Mbali, like Masaka in Uganda. If you are based in Kampala and your forest is four hours away, you must remember there's that additional cost of, uh, there's that additional cost. I always tell people maintaining one acre of pine or five acres of pine four hours away from Kampala. Transport wise, it's the same whether someone has a thousand acres whether you have a thousand whether you have a hundred acres transport cost is the same if i drive four hours away i'll use the same fuel if i go to see one acre of pine or if i go to see a thousand acres or a hundred acres so there's that fixed fixed cost so the smaller the more expensive it is now the other cost is, is of course maintenance a uh, man i always tell people one man one man can look up uh, one serious man can look after 20 acres of, of, of a plantation, one serious man, and we pay them about a hundred US dollars, around three hundred thousand. That's ten thousand shillings a day. We pay them a uh, around around a uh, hundred dollars. I'm talking in dollars because some people watching this might not be in Uganda, but it costs around uh, three hundred thousand a month. 
uh, for each man. A man can look after tw 20 acres for the first three years. When you plant the first three years, you need one man in every 20 acres. So if you have 50 acres, we need two men there. If you have three, 100 acres, we need five men there. Something like that. And each man will cost you in the regions of $100. Yeah, it's a bit less than $100, but in that kind of region. Yeah, maintenance includes uh, weeding, uh, yeah, weeding because when the trees are very small, when you plant pine, it's a foot, it's one foot uh, in height and it's trying to compete with the weeds and the grass which grow also very fast. You don't want, uh, it suffers a lot and you don't want that, that those weeds to overtake it. In this plantation, I, I mean, it's a, it's, a, a, uh, it's a demonstration plot. And the weeds are already too high. Uh, too, well, <laughs> there, are, there are lot, lots, lots of weeds. But because the, the plantation is well established, it's, uh, this one's 15 years old, these weeds don't affect the, these trees at all. But if you have a, 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 a two months old uh, uh, seedling, these weeds will kill it off. You don't want it to, to compete with the seeds, with the, with the seedlings. So the first three years are a difficult. Uh, a phase you have to keep on uh, weeding and uh, there's two types of things we we, we do uh, in different plantations we can actually dig the whole place which is usually very good but very expensive if you actually dig the grass and use a hole to dig that plantation uh, is safer and the trees are usually safer yeah and they grow faster because you turn over the soil and, and the nutrients and, and all that yeah, another way of maintaining is slashing. Slashing is a bit cheaper, but it's also okay. Then there's a spot weeding where you can just dig around the tree. That's also that. Now, depending on your, your plantation, if you have a very big plantation of 300 acres and it's digging, it's very, very expensive. So we adopt all types of methods. You can, uh, uh, we, can, we can slash, you can spot weed. Yeah, and the costs don't, don't change that much anyway. Yeah. Yeah, people use all types of of methods to to fight weeds. Yeah, I I've gone to plantation where, uh, but for, those are for grown trees uh, above above seven years. Uh, there are people who use uh, animals; they graze their their goats. Yeah, but uh, personally, I would advise against that because when the goats trample on the soil, they there's in, in Luganda a word called kuguba. The so it, 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 they tramp on the soil and the water doesn't penetrate well into the soil. When you graze animals, yeah, in in in, a, in, a, in a, that kind of plantation. So usually me, I I we try to 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 this. We, we don't do animals and I don't go that much that way. Yeah. Uh, do, during the our maintenance, we do things like pruning where you cut off the branches. Yeah, yeah, but uh, pruning such uh, we always advise to prune starting after age four, five, six, seven. Yeah, some people rush to prune early. There's thinning process also starts around age age seven years old. Yeah, the risks, like I said, uh, uh, the risks of uh, uh, of growing pine. Yeah, there uh, there is fire, there is theft, uh, and there is neglect. People plant pine and they think it has become expensive and takes a long time and they start neglecting their pro uh, project. If you want your project to come to a halt very soon, you neglect it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fires, uh, yeah, there are all types of things. Yeah. Like I said, these videos are very hard to to make because I have a very limited time. But there are risks like fires, there are risks like uh, theft. Yeah, they can, uh, uh, if you are in Uganda, villagers can come and, and chop down your forest for firewood. There's a risk of theft, fire, and uh, and uh, people, villagers bring uh, cattle and animals into your, your project. But if you, you left your project un, unattended for a long time, the trees, when they are very young, before the age of three, you can lose your money just like that. The weeds will help you kill off the, the plantation. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but like I said, uh, maintenance, uh, pine can actually grow in very, very difficult places. Yeah, uh, pine can grow uh, in very shallow uh, soils. It can grow 
in rather rocky places in a very way, but pine will not grow in swamps, in waterlogged areas, in sand. Yeah, if you buy, if you have land and it's waterlogged and you think this pine will suck up of the, all of the water that you've been hearing a tale, that doesn't exist. If you plant it in, in water, in a waterlogged place, that pine will not, it will not survive that and die off soon. Yeah, it, pine can go in very difficult places, unlike eucalyptus, but it will not grow in waterlogged areas especially. It will not grow in sand. It will not grow in clay. Yeah. Yeah, but can go in rather sh shallow areas, shallow, not very deep soils. It will grow, okay. But uh, when when the the soils are not that deep, uh, a pine takes a little longer to grow. It takes a little longer, uh, unlike in the deep soils. And like I said, also for for the pine to grow uh, at a good rate and uh, uh, quickly, because everyone wants their money quickly. Yeah, uh, there's things you have to. Uh, to follow like uh, thinning, you have to thin timely, you have to uh, prune timely uh, uh, in, in good time, yes. And uh, uh, if you grow in, in deep soils like at the bottom of mountains in Uganda, at the, usually at the bottom of hills the soils are deeper. Uh, those trees will probably grow faster and depending on the variety of you planted there's a, there is a variety called okapa it grows slower it's, it tends towards the hardwood but it grows slower but these other caribbean type of uh, trees grow a little faster yes like i said uh, i'll leave my contacts in the descriptions below so that uh, you can contact me these videos are usually very short uh, and i can't squeeze everything in you're always free to call me or whatsapp me and that number i'll, I'll provide 0772 Four two two nine five eight. It's a WhatsApp number. Is you can call me anytime you want, and I'll expound on more. These are short videos. To try and explain and uh, answer a few questions people keep on asking me. Thank you very much. Mm.